The worst day of my life by Thomas Scavill. The worst day of my life happened in May or June 2011, and I remember it like yesterday. I was walking home to my apartment down the corridor to my apartment door, carrying shopping bags with my weekly shopping food. I was so depressed, anxious, lonely, full of hopelessness and despair that I started to stumble and wobbly and shake so much that the food in the shopping bags fell out and I just opened my apartment door ran through my hallway and collapsed on my kitchen floor. Laying in the fetal position there, staring at the kitchen knives thinking about killing myself. I lay there five hours and every demon in hell and Satan himself was saying in my head to kill myself that I was useless and that no one would care. It was only by the grace of God that I somehow crawled to my bed and fell asleep that day and woke up the next day alive. I know for a fact that if I died that day I was going straight to hell. Less than a year later Jesus Christ saved me from all that pain and anguish. God was drawing me so much to him that I seen a random video on YouTube about a ex-prisoner Christian testimony at the end of that video he said say this sin is prayer with all your heart and believe. So I did in a second or two after I had said that prayer I felt God's amazing loving presence for the first time in my life. Instantly all my burdens and troubles were gone. I felt a indescribably peace and tears of joy started running down my face and I know that. That was Jesus Christ who visited me that night in my bedroom of my parents' house and I have been walking with Jesus my best friend and my everything every day since. I have said this testimony before here and am only doing so because I care about each and every one of you and I want to see you all in heaven someday. Jesus loves you so much that he died for you on a cross at Calvary for you and me and everybody else sins. All you have to is believe and put your trust and faith in Jesus Christ repent and you'll go to heaven. Do not deny the gift that Jesus wants us all to accept freely. I did nothing to accept salvation and eternal life in heaven except cry out to Jesus. Hell is real and if you deny Jesus and reject him, you'll go to hell. Please put your trust in Jesus and his gospel, God's word. Hope Jesus is your Lord and save you and you find salvation and eternal life in heaven soon. No matter what you have done, Jesus will forgive you. If God can save me, he can save anybody.